children, how are you today? That's good. Welcome to the world of mathematics. I am teacher Jessalyn, your teacher in mathematics 6. Class, let's feel the present of the Lord. And in Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon, grade 6 students. Now, let us have the class report. What is the day and date today? Very good! If you are here, please send the smile emoticon in our chat box. And now, fasten your seatbelt and we will travel the world of mathematics. Let's start enjoy and learning. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, let's have a review. If you still remember our lesson yesterday, answer the following question. Read each item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Type your answer into our chat box. Number 1, it's also known as a circle chart. Letter A, bar graph. Letter B, pie graph. And letter C, line graph. Number 2, the pie chart is a circular. The total angle that corresponds to the entire data set is letter A, 360 degree. Letter B, 180 degrees, and letter C, 90 degrees. Number 3, it can be used to display the value of the slice or to show the series name without using a legend. Letter A, sectors. Letter B, title. And letter C, data levels. Alright, good job children! I have a picture here that shows the example of a pie graph. The title of the pie graph is about children's favorite animal. The pie graph represents 120 children, 60% of the children choosing a dog, 20% of the children choosing a cat, 15% of the children choosing a bird, and 5% of the children choosing a rabbit. And now, you will convert all the rates shows in the pie graph into a decimal form. Choose the letter of the correct answer and type your answer to our chat box. Number 1, what is the decimal form of 60%? Letter A, 0 0.06. Letter B, 0 0.006. And letter C, 0 0.6. What is the decimal form of 20%? Letter A, 0 0.2. Letter B, 0 0.02. And letter C, 0.002 Number 3, what is the decimal form of 15%? Letter A, 0 0.015 Letter B, 0 0.15 And letter C, 0 0.0015 Number 4, what is the decimal form of 5%? Letter A, 0 0.05 Letter B, 0 0.005 and letter C, 0 0.5. Very good, children. And today, we will study how to solve routine and non-routine problem using data presented in a pie graph. This time, I have a situation. Ashley's monthly income is 30,000. The pie chart on the screen show her monthly income subdivided by the given rate. 40% for food, 20% for utility, 10% for savings, 20% for transportation, and 10% for emergency. And the problem is, how much is her monthly budget for food? This problem is a routine problem. To solve this problem, we're going to use the four-step process from problem solving. The first step is to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. The question of the problem is the amount for her monthly budget for food. Next, we should also know what is the given facts. So, the given facts on the problem are 30,000 monthly income, 40% for food, 20% for utility, 10% for savings, 20% for transportation, and 10% for emergency. Okay, we already understand the problem. The second step is to make a plan. To solve the problem, we need to get the percentage. The formula of the percentage is percentage is equal to rate times base. Also, we need to identify the number sentence. To get the number sentence, we need to substitute the value into our formula. 
So, the number sentence is P is equal to 0.4 times 30,000. And don't forget to change the rate into a decimal form. Okay, we already have a plan. The third step is solve the problem. We're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. P is equal to R times B. P is equal to 0.4 times 30,000. And the answer is 12,000. Therefore, her monthly budget for food is 12,000. The last step is to check. We're going to check the solution. This is one way to check if your answer is correct. Go back to your computation. Check if all the given values are properly substituted to the formula. And also, check the flows of the computation. So, the formula is P is equal to R times B, and the value of R is 0 0.4, and the value of B is 30,000. Let's substitute. So, P is equal to 0 0.4 times 30,000, and the answer is 12,000. Okay, now we have already solved the routine problem. Let's move to the next problem. What is the angle measure of the part of food as shown in the phi graph? This problem is a non-routine problem. To solve this problem, we are going to analyze and apply some non-principle in mathematics. So, in the problem, it is asking for the angle measure for the part of food as shown in the pie graph. So, the food is 40%. We are going to use this concept. The total angle measure of the circle is 360 degree, since a pie graph is a circular in shape. To get the angle measure, we are going to use the formula of angle measure. Angle measure is equal to rate times 360 degree. Let's substitute the value and then forget to change the percentage into the decimal form. We will be multiplying the rate. So we have 0.4 times 360 degree and the product is equal to 144 degree. Therefore, the angle measure of the part of food shown in the pie graph is 144 degree. Alright, now you already know how to solve the routine and non-routine problem using data presented in the pie graph. And that's all for today, student. I hope you enjoy and learn our lesson for today. Again, I am Teacher Jocelyn, your teacher in Mathematics 6. And always remember, mathematics is full of magical. Thank you, students. Goodbye!